Hello to my Eden Theological Seminary community. I wish I could be with you today, but I'm traveling. I wanted to first and foremost say congratulations to the new Eden Theological Seminary president, Deb Krause, yay! Uh, and wanted to share that I had such fond memories of my time in the uh, class of 2009, um, including uh, being in uh, her class on the Book of Revelation in 2008. And uh, I especially loved the day that we played a prank on her and we all staged um, our stuff in our chairs and hid uh, outside the classroom. And she walked into uh, what we staged as the rapture. Uh, Deb's mentorship and ministry of presence during my time as a student always made a big impression on me. And she definitely made a point of keeping in touch with me and so many other students over the years, um, alumna, um, alumni over the years. Um, and it's meant a lot, um, especially seeing her uh, leadership uh, for causes of uh, justice in the community, uh, including Black Lives Matter. Uh, it's very inspiring. Um, in my time, uh, when I entered seminary, I was a young social justice oriented Catholic, and I was a student at the social work school. I had only enrolled in social work school, and my advisor at the time said, you clearly care about theological issues. You are involved in faith-based organizations. Did you look at the dual degree program with Eden Seminary? And I said, oh, I'm Catholic. Like, I don't know what I would do with a seminary degree. And I visited Eden Seminary and immediately saw the total relevance to everything that I wanted to do in life and the opportunity to talk about theological issues that I thought were taboo. And we got to talk about them at Eden. Everything from ecumenism to um, the, you know, the gender of God. And um, it meant a lot to me to dive into the, the prophets and the Psalms and the theologies of beloved community and the rainbow people of God and, and ecumenism, Latin American theologies, eco-theologies, womanist theologies, feminist theologies. Uh, it all really equipped me for the work that I went on to do um, with ecumenism at the National Council of Churches, working on anti-poverty ministries, eco-justice ministries, young adult ministries, and later with um, Network Catholic Social Justice Lobby, working on issues of um, economic justice and immigration, and then later with Creation Justice Ministries, the uh, shoot off of the National Council of Churches Eco Justice Program, where I really um, got to use a lot of my theological background uh, to convene uh, faith leaders to protect God's creation and uh, work for environmental justice and um, serve frontline communities and do it in a way that um, it speaks to our faith and is relevant to our faith. And, um, and now in my new role at the US Department of the Interior, I am not in a faith-based environment, but I will say the, the critical thinking skills, um, the ability to assess where people's values are, uh, to meet people where they're at, uh, was very, it's very much informed by my uh, theological education and I'm, I'm so grateful. I am grateful to Carol Dumey for the scholarship that really enabled me to be able to take this um, theological education and add it on to the social work degree plan that I had had. I don't think I would have been able to do it without that help and I am thankful for all of the professors and mentors along the way. Uh, so to the new president of Eden Theological Seminary, uh, Deb Kraus, congratulations. I am so excited for the direction uh, that Eden can take in the future. And uh, thank you to all of my Eden community colleagues who continue to be some of my most treasured friends and, and colleagues in my work today. Uh, I hope you have a very meaningful time together at Synod.